time for some spring cleaning early mm -hmm. then, but why, don't, why wait for digital deep cleaning? Let's do that now. Yeah, from storage insecurity to sluggish speeds, consumer reporter Steve Noviella is live in Dallas this morning to get your devices defunct. Good morning to you. <laughs> Good morning to you guys. You know what? Listen, we uh, clean out the closets. We declutter the kitchen. I'll mm -hmm. even edit the kids' toys when they're not looking. I'll clean the baseboards every now and again. But when is the last time you actually gave your digital devices a deep clean? I want to start yeah. with email. So let's get right to the video. Listen, I will admit my email inbox is what I like to call a sea of delayed decisions, right? Because yes, I might need that email from 2014 and it's okay to keep it. But here's what I don't want you to keep. All the emails with those giant attachments. So first things first, go ahead and sort your inbox by size and get rid of anything that's in there that you really just don't need, especially back in the day when we used to, you know, you're sending drafts of stuff back and forth to people. Get rid of it. You don't need it anymore. Next, I want you to search by keyword. I like to generally use like a favorite merchant, right? See all of the emails, the thanks for your order, your order's on the way, your order has arrived, right? I don't need any of those emails anymore. Anything that I actually need is going to be part of my record when I visit the merchant's website. And third, I want you to unsubscribe, but I only want you to do it for reputable companies. So companies where you're like, yeah, I remember, you know, signing up for whatever it was. Go ahead and click the unsubscribe button. Those people are following the protocols. Here's what I don't want you to do. When you're looking at something and thinking, gosh, I don't know if I remember that. And then they ask you this, please verify your email address in order to unsubscribe. Do not do it. Instead, just go ahead and block them. What they're doing is asking you to verify that your email address is in fact a valid and monitored email address. And then you may find yourself on even more lists that you've subscribed to suddenly. It's kind of the equivalent of when you answer your cell phone during a spam likely call. All you're doing is letting that telemarketer know that, yep, this, you know, dialed number that we randomly chose actually does have a live person on the other end of it. Okay, now one problem I have, Steve, while you're helping us out here is I'm embarrassed to tell you how many, um, pictures I have. It, I it have? It's involves okay. five digits. <laughs> so well, let's, well, I might have let's tell everybody. Um, many, do you guys have your, do deal with do you have your cell phones with you this morning? Yes, you know, absolutely. Okay. Go ahead, and, and I'll tell I mean, remember, I have two small kids, so I'm going to, I'll see your five digits and raise you a digit. Okay, I'd, okay. okay. Truth time. Everybody, go to your recents. How many pictures you got? Oh, God. I, have, I don't know that I want to say. I have 8,296. 8, oh, I might have 17,992. Wow. <laughs> okay, I, I have 131,354. <laughs> oh, you so beat us up. Both of you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay, but here's what I want you to do. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page here, and under utilities, there's something called duplicates. What's the number next to where it says duplicates? Oh, on oh. I never thought about this. I have 187. Oh, yeah, I have 400. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that means right now okay. you have 400 photos, 400 extra photos on your phone that you're storing twice. Uh. So go in there, click merge, and it will get rid. And these aren't like, oh, it's similar, it's, it's so kind of different helpful. lighting, it's kind of different. These are the exact same photo that you're storing more than once. Okay. Our anchor here, she had 4,000 duplicates on her phone. Wow. Right? And we got rid of all of them and freed up a whole bunch of space. And that's a really important thing. I mean, I had, I had movies on my phone that I forgot I downloaded for my kids years ago to watch on a plane, right? Right? Yeah. So go ahead, check out the photos, but also you can check out also the bursts, by the way, right? We all mm -hmm. use the burst function to, you know, get the perfect shot. But how many of us actually go back and edit out the 27 pictures we don't oh, need yeah. for the one perfect photo yeah. of my son blowing out his birthday candles? Uh, so remind, remind us for people who may not have caught that. How do you do that again? You go down to the bottom of okay. your photos and then go to uh, duplicate. Yeah, so when you go to your photos, and then this is for iOS, right? If you have an Android, it's a little bit different. But yeah, so you'll scroll all the way down. The ver one of the very last things that are imports hidden and recently deleted, it also says duplicates. Mm -hmm. Click on it, click m select all, merge, and it'll mm -hmm. say, boom, we're going to merge all of the photos. And there. that's Super it. easy. And the then also... Yeah. Every once in a while, I'll get a, a charge for a subscription, and I, oh, I'm so frustrated I meant to cancel it. What is your best advice to get rid okay. of all those free trial subscriptions? This is one of my favorite hacks here because I just discovered it maybe about six months ago. I always got the free subscription, then went to my calendar app, set a reminder for one day before I was going to get charged, and then I put the alarm on, and I go... 
nonsense, right? Here's what you can do. We've got some video of this. As soon as you subscribe to a free trial, go directly into your subscriptions and cancel the free trial. It doesn't cancel your access to the free trial. What it does is cancels your obligation to pay. So you can see from the video that we just showed you, look, I still have access to YouTube music until, you know, the middle of February, even though I've already canceled my subscription. Now I don't have to worry about accidentally missing that deadline and now I'm on the hook for, you know, $9.99, $16.99, whatever it is per month moving forward. Wow. This is so helpful. This is the first segment I ever remember doing this. Um, it was <laughs> looking at my phone and talking at the same time. I feel like I'm, I'm at the dinner table. Put that down. Right, yeah. <laughs> that was Put it helpful, down. Steve. That duplicate for sure, because uh, I never yeah. that even existed. We just don't pay there attention to those things. I feel free now. There we go. There we go. Pictures uh, uh, anyway. Lift it. <laughs> new year, new space. We'll take you.